you guys, hands up. Who thought I would never sit down in front of the camera to film again? The last two months have been a roller coaster, to say the absolute least. Yeah, it's been a rough time. We're not going to get into it because it's just been. <laughs> so, today is comfy vibes only. I am rugged up. I have my udi, my blanket, and I'm just ready to sit here and be cozy. To help with that, I have got my chai latte which is delicious and keeping me warm. And of course, the coziest thing of all, I have the doggies in here with me, so you will probably hear them making doggy noises at some point. Back to our roots today. We are here with a Kmart haul. I have done yet another tidy up of this room and I have a huge bag of stuff that is all Kmart things that I'm pretty sure I haven't shown you guys before, but I may have, so if there's double ups, I probably didn't buy it twice, I have probably just forgotten that I've shown you. So, full disclosure, this stuff has been in here for months. I have not set foot in a Kmart in... Can't even think of the last time I went like proper shopping. I really want to show you the ginormous bag, but Frost is using it as a pillow, so I'm going to have to upset her. I was not exaggerating. It is insane that this stuff has just been sitting here whilst I have been moping around depressed for the past few months. So let's get into it. There is not going to be a rhyme or reason to this. I am just going to lean over, grab stuff and show it to you. So the first one is this photo and craft storage box. This is their newer, smaller version of the photo storage show you actually it's right here this is their like original photo storage thing that they've had I did this recently I did film it as like short form content so you might see that eventually I have filmed so much recently haven't posted any of it um, but this is what they originally had which is full of photos that I have found and this is their new one these are much bigger so it says photo and craft the um, original one the boxes were probably like that maybe they fit six by fours in them perfectly but these I reckon you could probably get an eight by ten in here they are that bit bigger so I'm assuming that's why it is also labeled craft and photo storage I really do like these they are great for storing stuff that one I am obsessed with it I do wish they weren't in rainbow colors <laughs> if they had the option of like a rainbow one or a clear one that would be great because then like that the colorful people would still be really happy and us neutral girlies would also be happy but they are very functional so i can look past the rainbows because they're really good really great for storing things my concept behind this one was to try and minimize our first aid stuff a bit because we've just got so much like medication and things like that and i feel like if i can downsize a whole heap of it and put all the smaller things in here in categories and then just have one box for our like bulky stuff that won't fit in here anyway this <laughs> so i have quite a lot of crafty stuff in there this one i got in preparation for one of my nieces coming to have a sleepover so if you are my family you know how long this stuff has been sitting here for because that was in January. Anyway, this is the DIY Sun Catchers kit. So we got a few little DIY things when I picked her up. We went to Kmart on the way to come here, like here to our home. We grabbed a few little cool crafty things and then we decided which ones we wanted to do when we were here and we didn't end up using them all. So I have a few left over for when either she comes, my other nieces come, they both come. We've got more crafty stuff that we can do together so the, the like DIY kits that Kmart have are really really great which is this is such great timing for the end of school holidays but they're so cheap and they're really cool little like not too difficult kits and they've got all sorts of things they have like crocheting sun catchers painting um clay like so so many things so they're really handy and they're really cheap so i don't mind the fact that we didn't use this because i can just keep them i'll get like a little box going somewhere of like stuff to do 
when we have sleepovers with my nieces and eventually my nephew as well when he gets old enough and my other niece that she's too little at the moment too but I am I'm like a big family person so I want my nieces and nephews to feel comfortable here they I want it to be fun when they come over so I have like a little box of like stuff and activities to do when they do come over eventually when we have kids as well I would love for my like my kids and my nieces and nephews to all have lots of fun here together like as cousins and stuff that is the goal the vision like a gazillion years in the future but that was a real, real long random rant for um, sun catcher kit thing. This would probably be cool when they're both here because they can get one each. But anyway, craft. First of probably many craft kits. Yep. <laughs> Here's an embroidery one. So I do have a few different embroidery things from Kmart as well because I did go through like a phase of really enjoying it. I think I have it. I can show you actually. The box is right there. I got this ages ago. I think I got it sometime last year, if not the year before. Whoops. Um, and I've just been keeping it back in here, which I got this far through and then have not revisited, but I did find it very, very relaxing to do. So when I cleaned out this whole room, I rediscovered these and I created like a little basket of, oh, I just dropped that stuff everywhere. Hold please. I think I got it all. Yeah. So now I just have like a little box of crafty stuff that I like hyper focus on and buy and then forget when I put them places. So now I have a basket that I'm going to keep out and I'm probably going to find a spot in like the general living area so that I can see them and when we're like just chilling I can sit there and do this kind of stuff because every time I rediscover it I'm like oh that looks so much fun and I do love crafty stuff so I need to see it to remember that I have it to use them. So. Another embroidery kit. This one is a lot more color and stuff than the other. I think there is another one. So these are two embroidery kits. I think there's some more, but I'm not sure if the others are embroidery or different, but I've got two of these. You can see the plant theme is still going strong in my mind, but some of these, I, I think they probably take a bit too long to do with my nieces and stuff. And they do say like 14 years and older. All of my nieces and nephews are younger than that. But I do enjoy this, it is relaxing. So these are gonna go straight into my crafty box. A lot of the crafty stuff has kind of ended up being on top. This one is a mini cross stitch kit. This I think I got with the idea of taking it to a um, one of our like girls nights. Two of my good friends and I have not done it for a very long time, but we got in the habit of having like wine nights every couple of weeks or something and we had the idea that we wanted to do like something fun and cute and crafty and whatever and I saw this that came up one time and there's three of them, there's three of us. So I was like, oh, I can get this for one of our wine nights and we have not had one <laughs> in probably over a year, I'm gonna say, because last year was so busy, two of us got married. This year I have been in a massive slump and they've been busy with like their kids and stuff. But this is for a wine night with the girls, these girls. So one, one day soon that's going to happen and I will bring this with me and we will probably get a tiny bit through it and never finish them. But it's fun. That's the random backstory behind this one that will only be relevant to literally two people in the world if they end up watching this one. I know they do sometimes watch my videos. So when you watch this, remind me that we need to do this. Okay. okay. Very much on the same thread. Uh, the <laughs> thread, lol. This is a punch needle kit. So this one is similar again, but just slightly different to the embroidery ones. So I'm gonna, gonna be sounding like a bit of a broken record as I as I talk about all of these, but going straight in craft box. <laughs> all right, non-craft related, thank God. So this is a glazed oil wax and melt burner. I've been wanting a little like melt thing. Jesus, it's literally the name right here. Melt, wax melt burner for a really long time. I do, I was gifted a couple of like little wax things, wax melts a while ago, and I haven't had anything to melt them in. I really wasn't a fan of the like because I would look at the Kmart ones and I just didn't vibe with them for 
various reasons they didn't suit my aesthetic this one is obviously not new now but i do believe it came out last year so that's your little pod thing and then your area where you put your little tea candle so this one is just cute it's neutral it's got the ribbed texture that i do enjoy and yeah there's not much to say about it it's just a like wax burner thing the, i like that this is removable i literally know nothing about these things so i would assume that normally these are removable so you can clean them and whatnot but yeah this is vinyl adhesive i like i was gonna say vividly remember but i don't remember enough details to qualify for vividly remembering this but i know i had a an idea behind why I wanted to grab these and it was to put on something some kind of surface I don't don't remember what my idea was behind it but they were on special like on clearance and I think they were like 50 cents each or something like that so I was like oh I've had that idea in the back of my head for ages I may as well buy them while they're on clearance and then they've been sitting in here for months and now I can't remember what the idea was but I guess if it ever does uh come back to my mind, I have these here. <laughs> so they are, they're the vinyl adhesive. They're kind of like the concrete look ones. So I know they do have a whole variety of them. The examples they've got on here are like the front of our bedside table drawers on little like vases or plant pot things. And then also I think that's like a, is that a table? Yeah, it's like a little kitty dining table. So like covering surfaces, covering stuff. You know what, I should cover my fridge because the fridge is old and disgusting, but I don't think that concrete fridge is like the vibe, but <laughs> it would look better than what it looks like right now. I tell you, tell you that much, it would look weird, but it would probably look better. So now I have those. What is this? Oh, it's a dress. That's handy now that summer is over. So this is just a little black, black dress, black mini dress with like kind of tears on it. It was apparently $15. It is called the SS V-neck tiered dress in black. So that's cute. It's it's just literally like a little black dress. It would be still probably okay for now because we're in autumn so I could like layer it with like denim jacket and stuff like that. So that's cute. That's nice. And it was 15 bucks. So just like a Kmart basic little black dress casual little black dress thing. The only thing that I don't really like about Kmart's like basics and stuff like that is how see-through they are. Like I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you can see my hand through that because I can see you guys. That's the one thing I don't like about this kind of light material that Kmart uses for some things. It is really nice to wear, it's soft, it feels good, but I, I don't like the fact that like you're gonna be able to see my bra through this. So that's annoying. These I, again, like vividly, not vividly remember. I saw a TikTok or a Instagram reel or something and it was some kind of like DIY solution to something. Cannot remember what the problem was, but it was to use shower curtain rings for something. Can't remember <laughs> what it was. So hopefully now that I'm like speaking this out loud and my phone is listening, the algorithm will just show me that video again or similar ones. But I grabbed these because I thought it was a really fantastic idea. And I was like, yes, I'm going to do that. That would be a cute little like short form content video that I could make. And then life happened. So here we are. I now have two packs of 12 clear shower curtain rings. We do not have any showers that need shower curtains, but I have these anyway <laughs> so I it's like you know when like words and sayings and stuff are like on the tip of your tongue this memory is like right right here and I just cannot grasp it but I remember being like oh that is such a great idea that is such a good solution and it is gone it's not gone from my brain because I know it's in there it's just gone from my consciousness <laughs> so these, these can go in my little DIY um, crafting stuff, which is in these cupboards. So they are here for when the algorithm decides to be nice to me and shows me that video again. So please do Instagram slash TikTok. Thanks. All right, the 
bag is just gonna live on my lap now. This is the five piece, five piece glass storage set. I knew I had bought this and I, it was like in the back of my mind because every time I'm in the kitchen washing out like Tupperware and stuff, I'm like, Ugh, I wish I really wanna like gut all of this and replace them all with glass so I can see inside them and yeah. And I knew I'd bought a pack and I couldn't think of where I bought it from. I bought it from Kmart and it is right here. So this comes with one one litre, one 700, one 600, one 450 and one 350 milliliter, different sized boxes. They've got the little like steam flap lid thingy and the like the good, um... <laughs> what is the word I'm trying to even think of? It's like the little clasp things on the side. Now that I am seeing these, I am remembering that I grabbed them so that I could test these specific ones out, see if I like them, because if they come in a big like pack of multiples, it's pretty convenient and easier to kind of replace everything that you have. So I am going to take these to the kitchen after we're done here and wash them and give them a go this week. There is another set that I saw on the Kmart app that I really want to get and it was like a weekly set of five for like meal prepping and stuff and all the lids have like the day of the week on them so I would like to get that as well because we both want to get into meal prepping and just eating a lot better and healthier and everything so doing that and having specific containers for the days would help my brain so I'm gonna try these ones out see how they go I will probably update you in my kitchen video that will be coming eventually <laughs> fun the two pack sponge holders I don't know if it was just like the marketing on these or something but they were kind of everywhere on Instagram when they first came out so they're two like little adhesive sponge holder things but there is so many things that you could use this for um, my brain went absolutely like haywire when they first came out and I was like oh you could use that to hang like little picture frames you could use it to hang like literally anything you could use this for so they're tiny they're black i just i i enjoy the simpleness of these and the versatility of these there are so many things that you could use this for just literally around the house everywhere i guarantee that there is a whole bunch of videos uh, out in the social media realm using these in different ways i wonder how they would go being spray painted white so as you guys know i have been moving away from like black Sense and stuff in our house so they I, I feel like they'd be fine being spray painted that it's just metal so yeah those are the little two pack sponge holder things they do come in like the tiniest little box I remember looking for them for quite a while when I first when they like first came out they were one of those ones that when it comes out it's a bit tricky to get and then eventually I found the tiny little boxes and I was like ah unnecessary long little story for you there. I might spray paint just one and see how it like sticks and stuff and now I'm just rambling about sponge hooks so let's stop doing that. This also came out the same time that those did. This is the cloth holder. This one was also on their social media when it came out. It is just like little sponge, it's not a sponge holder, that's what the other thing was. <laughs> It's a little cloth holder. What I did not realize about it though, now that I have taken it, have taken it out, is that it like rotates. So it has a massive 3M thing on the back. So you would imagine that it would stick relatively well. I did get this to put in our cupboard to hang a cloth over. I just feel like it kind of, uh, I don't know, there's just not much space in between here, you know? Like the cloths I have are microfiber ones, so they're relatively thick, and I feel like that's just gonna like rub again. But anyway, <laughs> I did get this to hold a cloth for its actual purpose. I'm sure there are a million different things that you could also use this for. But yeah, I did not know about the hinge situation, so I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, cloth holder. I have no idea why I have these. There's two wooden cutlery sets. Maybe for camping? Did I maybe get these so that we could take them camping? That rings a bell a little bit. Because they are quite like sturdy ones. So maybe that's what my thought process was. I think it was. I vaguely remember walking around the party section being like, that'd be really handy for camping. And then you could just pop them in the fire if you had a fire going and not have to wash them, which is incredibly lazy of me. <laughs> so I'll just, 
pop them in our camping box, I guess. This also speaks to how long this stuff has been here because the rest of this bag is related to our wedding flowers. So our wedding was in November last year. So it has almost been five months now. I did get these after our wedding. So I, got, I would have got these in December sometime. What I really wanted to do, <laughs> just go on a different track, is keep our wedding flowers somehow and reuse them, display them, turn them into artwork. But the companies that do that are incredibly, incredibly like brilliant and amazing and very expensive. And you do also need to kind of get organized with it a bit further in advance than we did. So we did start looking at it like before the wedding, but it was just so expensive that I didn't really look into it seriously. And then the wedding was coming and I started to get really sad about what was gonna happen to our flowers afterwards. So I did start looking into it and you have to like book with these people in advance and like they'll send you a box to send your flowers off in and it's this whole thing. So long story short, we kept heaps of our flowers. My plan was to try and let them dry out a bit and to squish them. What is it called? It's in here. Flower press. Some of them. This is literally like a child's. <laughs> flower press. My thought process behind this was to press our wedding flowers and try to make some kind of like art thing that I like I will put pictures on the screen so you'll know what I'm talking about but that's what the thought process was behind buying this flower press that is for children so it's ages six years plus but I honestly wish I had have done it and it makes me really sad with myself looking at this, knowing that I left it too long and it was too, the flowers were too far gone for me to press them. And I kind of, I was so panicky about it. I didn't want to ruin them. And then even though we had so many, I easily could have just tested it with some of them and still had more than enough to like do this with. This was one of my ideas for what we were going to do with our flowers after the wedding in like a budget kind of friendly way. I just, got very very in my head about it and did not end up doing it. So this is one aspect of the rest of this bag. The second aspect is also related very much to our wedding flowers and what I considered doing was trying to play around with resin. As you can see I also did not do this in the end either. I got very in my head about it again. I got a bit panicky. I only ended up buying all of this stuff because a whole bunch of it was on clearance, like the molds and stuff were on clearance. I have the molds and I have the resin tools pack and then the craft resin as well. My idea behind this was because the flowers were drying and it was too late to use the flower press, I was like, what can I do with dried flowers there was heaps and heaps of stuff left over that we had I let a lot of it dry out my bouquet my maid of honors bouquet and then a lot of the uh, like the baby's breath and there was purple little like little little flowers and stuff that dried out really really well so I've got them throughout the house in vases and stuff and they look beautiful and they're very cute and just like aesthetic and then I still do have the bouquets as I mentioned so the plan was to put them in resin somehow. This is the longest story. <laughs> long, 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 long story short. I really, like, I need to do something with them. There's no point. Did you, I don't know if you saw it. <laughs> A tiny, tiny little spider just like floated down from the roof. Anyway, ridiculously, stupidly long story short. I still want to do something with my bouquets. So I really, I'm, I'm kind of just stuck at what I want to do with them. But we've got like small stuff, which I think still could be very cute to put in resin and they are dried. So I imagine I can probably put them in resin. So this does seem like something that is fun and that I can still do and they don't need to be fresh flowers. So the fact that they are the stuff that we do still have is all dried out and like it's not, it's just gonna stay how it is until it like crumbles apart. So if we can encase some of them in like in in resin that'd be cool I think is the longest story I, I think I've said that this is a long story like six seven times at this point but longest story in the world short it would be cool to have some of our wedding flowers in resin literally took me five seconds to say it's probably been over five minutes of me talking about this but these are all the resin related items I have from Kmart is the point of this ramble. 
Ooh, we back, baby. We are back. <laughs> Next to that resin story, my tea's now cold, so. Why did I drink more of it? It's gross. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. Thank you very much. It is so nice to be back sitting, talking, filming this. It feels really good. I'm going to leave that one there. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching the most random, all over the place kind of Kmart haul. I have had a lot of fun sitting here filming this just talking to you guys, rambling through my thought processes behind these Kmart things is truly therapeutic and fun and I love sitting down and filming these kind of videos for you guys. I think this has done wonders for me, reminding me why I used to do so many of these videos is because it is a lot of fun to just sit here and show you stuff. It's like opening presents and I have enjoyed myself. So I hope you enjoyed yourself too. Please subscribe. I have a whole bunch, like a big pile of stuff here that I need to film haul videos for. So those will all be coming. I have dog hair on my face. What's new? <laughs> Leave a comment and like the video if you want to. Leave, leave comments telling me if you have any of these things, if you've missed me, if you've enjoyed this video, if you've hated it and you've got suggestions, love a bit of constructive criticism, whatever you want. I just miss you guys. I would love to chat in the comments down below. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. If you made it this far, you are a true warrior. <laughs> and I don't know what I did to deserve subscribers like you that watch the whole way. So thank you so much. I will see you in the next one. Have an amazing day. Bye guys.